Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us Across the Fence. I'm Fran Stoddard. Vermont teenagers are bringing home several New England championships from a variety of 4-H dairy competitions at the Eastern States Exposition in West Springfield, Massachusetts. Vermonters made a clean sweep of the fitting and showmanship classes in which the competitors are judged on how they handle themselves and their animals in the show ring. Hillary Mitchell of Morrisville earned the top prize. She was crowned reserve senior champion. Meanwhile, honorable mention senior champion went to Molly Callan of Enosburg Falls. A Vermonter also won the junior champion. That award went to Colby Simpson of Sutton. Vermonters also earned top honors in the confirmation classes, where the focus is on the body condition and appearance of the animal. Ellie Ramirez Richer of Shelburne earned top honors for brown Swiss cows. For Holsteins, Benjamin Booten of Williston was tapped the champion. For Jersey cows, the junior champion was Abigail Reen of Lincoln. And the big winner, bringing home the reserve grand champion and supreme heifer championship prizes, was Island Farr of Richmond. Her Eicher named Far Regan Cherio. What all this means is that Iceland raised and trained what the judges deemed to be the best heifer in all of New England. Congratulations, Iceland. As a team, Vermont also brought home several top prizes, including best state herds for Eicher, Brown Swiss, and Holstein. Across the fences, Keith Silva was at the Eastern States competition and he spoke with 4-H educator Martha Seifert about what it takes to bring home a blue ribbon. Today we have our uh, New England 4-H Dairy Show confirmation classes. That's where the animals are judged on their body type, um, bone structure, and the kids do a nice job presenting them to the judges. In a dairy cow, we like them to appear thin, kind of like a marathon runner. That means their, their energy is going into making milk for all that delicious ice cream and cheese and yogurt. When we're talking to the general public, our consumer, we kind of relate it to a beauty contest. They get a bath every morning, they get crimped with a haircut and brushed, and they're basically pampered when they're here, and then they're presented to the judges to be judged on their beautifulness. My name is Keenan Tigerson. I'm from Tunbridge, Vermont, and my cow's name is Arethusa Naughty or Nice. What other shows did you compete in to get to this show? Ooh, a lot of them. Um, I'd say North Haverhill Fair, Addison County Fair and Field Days. I competed at the 4-H State Dairy Show this summer, um, and then I competed at the New York Spring Carousel in April and other numerous shows. Out in the show ring, I take pride a lot in my clipping jobs. You're good at clipping? Yeah, so uh, that's basically giving cows haircuts. How do you get good at giving cows haircuts? Uh, a lot of practice. A lot, a lot of practice. I mean, it's nice to win, but it's all, it's all about having fun. What is fun about 4-H? Um, you're just meeting a bunch of new kids. Like, constantly you're meeting new kids at leadership activities, or just like new kids from all around the state that are getting into showing cows, basically. What would you say to someone where they're like, I don't know, sounds like a lot of work. I don't know if I would be into this. Well, I'd say definitely like if you want your kid's perspective to change, it's a lot of work, but then they'll put that work towards other things like schoolwork and stuff like that. It just helps their worth ethic grow. This is a, a great opportunity for our Vermont youth to interact with our public, to maybe teach them a little bit about agriculture, where their food comes from, to teach them about what 4-H is, what, what opportunities they have. Uh, it just gives them that exposure to people they might not otherwise interact with. We're not far from Hartford and Boston, and in Vermont we don't see people from the big cities like that, so this is great for them to, to interact and realize that not everybody knows where their food source is, and these kids can help to teach them that it comes from a lot of hard work and the rewarding work with which they're doing with their animals. How many 4-H'ers do you have down here? 30 that are here with animals, and we have a couple of um, herdsmen, so they kind of help out everybody as needed. We have a quiz bowl team of four kids. We have two judging teams, four youth each. Some of them have, both have cattle and on our team. Um, some are just here for the teams. 
We have over 60 kids vying for 30 spots to come down. Um, so we have a very competitive group. Um, so there is a committee that does the selections for the kids to come down. We try to make sure every youth gets the opportunity to experience the 4-H show here. So we actually have five members this year that are aging out that have never been. So they're here for their first time as their last year of 4-H. My name is Ryan Netto. I'm from Derby, Vermont, and I'm here showing my milking cow style at the Big E. What does the judge look for in a milking cow? Um, so the udder is the most important part. He's looking at the quality of the udder, the attachments in the rear and fore udder, yeah. and how well yeah. balanced it is throughout. You were clipping the udder earlier. Yes. Very carefully. <laughs> Tell me about that. Yeah, so you want to clip the udder with short, the shortest blades um, to show how much veins she has and to show the different parts to our udder, like how wide and high her rear udder attachment is. What do you like about 4-H? Um, I like the different experiences we get to have. Like there's many great trips that you get to be a part of. You get to meet new friends and learn lots of new life skills. So it's not just, even though you're in the dairy competition, you're going and doing other stuff at times. Like yeah. Tell me about some of that. Um, I used to do stage performances here, and I've done public speaking demonstrations. I've been on the National Dairy Conference in Wisconsin. This is your last Big E, Toby. I think so, yes. What does that mean? Can you sum it all up? Um, yeah, it's been really good. It's been a cool experience that not everyone gets to be a part of. Um, it's definitely taught me a lot of like teamwork, different life skills. Tell me the one thing you're going to miss about 4-H. Um, probably showing, yeah, just because I've been doing it for so long and every summer. Are you looking forward to getting your summers back? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> there definitely will be days that I miss it, though. My name is Ben Bhutan. Um, I live in Williston. I show down in, I show for Mountain Dependence 4-H, which is a club out of Orderwell, Vermont, down in, near Shoreham. And I've been showing for eight plus years and just having a time with it, pretty much. You, so you've been doing this for eight years. Yep. You must have all these secrets of showing. Yeah, I got a couple. What are your secrets to showing them? Um, pretty much just help, just try to do the best that you can with your animal that you have. And if you need help, ask for it. Don't be afraid. And, you know, it's just something you have to get into and not really understand it and stuff like that. You always got to be pay attention to the judge. The judge is definitely the boss of you. So whatever the judge does, you do. So you pretty much follow what he does and make sure your cow looks good and feels good. I like meeting all sorts of new people, getting new experiences. And later this month, I'm going out to Madison, Wisconsin to the World Dairy Expo. Uh, I'm actually going out to the National Dairy Conference. So it's very experiencing and you get to meet so many new people so many new job offers, it's ridiculous. For a 16 year old, you're getting all sorts of job offers? Oh yeah. What kind of job offers do you get? I've had people ask me to go work on their farms. And also for my school, I'm doing this diesel ag in Middlebury. So I've been doing that, I just started it this year, but I've already had people like, when are you gonna work on my equipment? Like, can you do this yet? And so it's... You see this as a career. This is more than just comp. No, it's... It's, it's this, this is it, you know, like, why not, right? Congratulations to all the 4-H'ers from Vermont and New England who competed in the Big E in 2019. 4-H depends on volunteers. They are the unsung heroes who run clubs, organize events, and make sure kids and animals are where they're supposed to be when they're supposed to be there. There is another group who also deserve kudos for their devotion to 4-H parents, of course. 
Whether it's sports or recitals, getting kids to events and practices is all part of being a parent. For 4-H parents, responsibilities may include housing and caring for animals or chaperoning week-long trips out of state. Keith caught up with a 4-H parent while he was at the Big E and found out what parents are doing while their kids are competing. Brenda, what brings you down to the Big E? I am chaperone with the 4-H dairy group that's here to compete for the weekend. And you have a daughter here? My daughter Erica is competing with a brown Swiss. Um, I'm actually staying with the group for the whole weekend. So we left early on Thursday morning, traveled down here on a bus as a group. We are staying on the grounds the whole weekend. We're staying in the dorms with all of the other New England states. So yeah, just making sure everybody stays on track. What do you like about 4-H, you as a parent? Uh, it's a lot of cool skills. It's learning to take care of somebody besides yourself. If you don't take care of your animal, she's not going to perform well. She's not going to grow well. There's no computers. There's no phones. There's no electronics. It's all outside. <laughs> My name's Erica Goodhue. This is Emerald. I'm from Fairfield, Vermont. She was born at my grandparents' farm. My cousin Catherine owns her. I've shown her for two years now. What is she really good at? She is really good at taking small steps and walking slow. It makes her look better. It makes her so she looks better through the shoulder. Hey, wait a second. Today's not only a show, it's also your birthday, right? Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather be someplace else than at the Big E for your birthday? No. And a happy belated birthday to Erica from all of us here at Across the Fence. Once again, congratulations to all the Vermont youth who represented the Green Mountain State with pride and distinction. That's our program for today. Thanks for joining us Across the Fence. I'm Fran Stoddard. Thank you.